for me, agroecology is the relationship between agriculture and environment, I believe. And it actually means the two working together for the benefit of both, without one misusing or uh, mishandling the other one. So one benefits from the other one, one gives off the other one. So the two must and should work together. Innovation is actually at the center of achieving agroecology, if you ask me. Because um, we cannot achieve uh, what we set out to do by sitting around doing nothing. Uh, we need to help uh, the rising population, which means we need to feed ourselves so we need to look for ways and means of doing that in a better way uh, without digging more into uh, the environment. And uh, for, to, to do that effectively, therefore, we need innovation. I believe our work at AATF is all about really looking at the two working together, agriculture and the environment. And I say that because when I look at all the technologies and innovations you're coming up with, I don't see one uh, that takes away from the environment without giving something back. So for instance, when you look at um, our technologies on nitrogen use efficient rice, that is just about helping a plant work better with as little as possible of fertilizer, in this case nitrogen, than it would. And uh, the numbers we're getting is 40% less uh, that normally and with just a little fertilizer we get even 20 to 35 percent more uh, productivity out of that and plants underway are to make that rice also become water use efficient and also salt tolerant meaning it can work with saline uh, uh, conditions and still produce at optimum level and my third example would be similar to the bt maize it's a bt cowpea they call it pod borer resistant cowpea this is about addressing uh, a problem that is really affecting farmers who are planting, who plant or deal with cowpea in Africa. And the pest is called Maruka pod borer. It's terrible, devastating. It takes farmers five to eight sprays for a season. But uh, through the cowpea that, that we are coming up with, we've developed, actually it's, it's ready. Through that particular cowpea, you reduce need for sprays to only two. And you maintain higher uh, yields than the current conventional uh, cowpeas that we have. In addition to that, we've got lots of work going on on biopesticides, uh, helping governments to actually see and understand how we can regulate biopesticides and put them to use uh, uh, for, with farmers. So those are just some of the ways that we're doing it.